Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to use carousel view in uh, ASP.NET Core. This is the very basic steps to, uh, to create in ASP.NET Core carousel view. So first of all use bootstrap, uh, bootstrap both bootstrap JS and bootstrap CSS file and here we have you know that uh, these files are actually included in the CSS and the JS file. So just uh, go for the layout.cshtml file and just paste uh, both files. So how to uh, do the carousel view with the database binding. So just of all, first of all uh, just run this project uh, and I am going to show you how to use carousel view with the database file and show images um, looking like that. So wait for some time so I will show you and I will clear you how to do in ASP.NET Core, how to use carousel view in ASP.NET Core. Okay, so uh, wait for some times. It will it will taking few seconds to run uh, this project on a browser. So here we have. Okay. So uh, this is the actually here we have some coupons like that Amazon deal, Flipkart coupon, Dell Technologies, Ajio coupons like that. This is the coupon pictures Amazon, Flipkart, uh, Ajio and Dell Technologies. So if we remove any one from uh, here, so just remove uh, two coupons from this list. Okay. So just I want to show this. Uh, uh, Car carousel view in ESP.NET Core, so just customer index on and here you have that the first uh, Amazon and the second one is the Flipkart. So just after that Amazon and the Flipkart. So if you want to add some coupons again like that title Agio coupon okay and the select this percent discount is 10 percent minimum amount is 500 and select picture is Agio. There is the fourth and is active coupon. Okay, so here we have Agio coupons, and you can see that uh, that coupon will be displayed in the form of carousel view, like that. So first of all, first coupon is Amazon. The second coupon is Flipkart, and the third coupon is Agio, looking like that. If you want to use this carousel view in ESP.NET Core, so first of all, uh, if basic card operation on the coupons so here we have a coupon and just i am going to add a byte of array images right here so coupon picture just i want to add it and if you want to add a picture in the form of the bytes so just wait for uh, wait for the next video i will show you how to save image in the byte form in the database table so in the home controller just i am going to add get the coupons by using uh, get the coupons all details context.coupons.fair is active coupon just a list of this and in index view just here we have the first list view model so model.coupons.to list count is greater than zero then then we are using carousel right at here class is carousel data write is carousel data interval is uh, 2500 I mean to say that 2.5 seconds uh, after that the next picture will be available so here we have the first that is i is 0 model dot coupons dot count i is 0 then carousel item is active so just get the base 64 images in the byte form so here we have model dot coupons dot to list of i I mean to say that 0 dot coupon picture that is the first picture and image source is like that it's base 64 so just flash the image first now if i is uh, greater than 0 then you can say that the same thing uh, will do uh, the base 64 and image src with the uh, index number and i am going to here so the basic uh, view to design carousel in asp.net core so now here we have the basic line of code you can use carousel view in ASP.NET Core. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core.